All right, so Alex Dowsett is targeting the UCI Outer Record on December the 12th, and I thought I'd go through what the differences are between his new setup and, you know, what he has to achieve and what he did achieve previously, um, which was his previous hour record, which is about 52 and a half kilometers. So anyway, I thought, first of all, we'll go through, obviously, what Wiggins did. So Wiggins did 440 watts, um, 450, something like that, um, for an hour, which is, which is crazy, obviously. Um, and then Campanats went with altitude and did 330 watts, but at altitude, apparently, well, that's what's predicted. He's never said how much power he's doing. And he rode 55 kilometers. Um, and you can see the previous record that Dowsett did was 53, um, pretty much 53 kilometers. So he's got about two kilometers to make up, which is obviously quite a lot. So um, we're going to go through first the position. And then Dan Bigham has quite an interesting article, which we're going to go through about his equipment um, and all the rest of it. So first of all, this is an old school bid from me back in the day. And this is from Dowsett's uh, hour record attempt. So obviously you can see he's on a canyon frame. Um, we're going to get into the, the, the equipment in a bit, but we'll just look at the position first. So in terms of hand position, it's like a classic like this. It's not um, the turtle, which is seen as more aero because your hands are half in space. So it's like a classic, classic grip. Nothing too crazy. Obviously went to the wind tunnel. Um, head is pretty high up. You can see quite well, which on a track you really don't need to be see very well. You just follow the black line all the way around. Um, you know, it's decent position for sure. I mean, he did 360 watts, he said, and did 52 kilometers an hour. So, you know, that's that's very aero. Um, considering the boy can do a, probably another 40 watts, he predicts, it's um, it's going to be pretty big. So we'll go over to Campanats, what he was saying. Um, so he was he's gives some good insights. Um, and he says he's their mates, but, you know, he didn't say anything. Um, talks about altitude, but he says one of the biggest things here is that um he can choose the bike so obviously campanats had a ridley but i don't think it was a ridley i think it was something else um but he's saying like doland or koga miata do special bikes but he thinks he could end up with a british track bike i doubt he will unless the british people are sponsoring it but anyway he's definitely gonna have a quick quick um quick bike and dowsett will need to improve by two kilometers and that's equivalent of 50 watts is what he suggested um so that's a pretty good indication of what he's going to do. And according to Dowsett, so Dowsett said that himself, he did 360 watts, um, which, as you can see here. So, you know, that's a lot lower than what he can achieve. So definitely. Um, so if we go we if we go over to Dan Bigham's analysis now, um, he claimed it was 395. Movistar seemed to have just bumped that up to 395 uh, watts. So that's obviously going to change Dan Bingham's calculations, but it's still interesting to go through because obviously he knows a fair amount more about aero uh, than myself. Um, that one of the biggest things. So if Dowsett were in the same conditions as Wigan, he would have to do another 1.38% power. And this is one of the issues with going at um, not at altitude or not in Mexico. So Campanets were saying in Mexico, um, the the air pressure is like more or less the same every day. So it's pretty easy to predict. You don't have to worry. While in the UK, the wet, the air pressure changes significantly, which means obviously the distance is going to change significantly. Now, if we then move on to tyres. So for Dowsett's record attempt, he used the Continental Tempo Track tubulars, which I think are quick, but they're not that quick. And like, if he gets choose choice of equipment, he'll be on Vittoria, uh, Vittoria Pista, Pista Speeds, which are the fastest track tyre out there. Everyone uses them. So that will be obviously a big gain. So this is what Dowsett says, is that he's saying the difference in rolling resistance, the coefficient of rolling resistance was what CRR is. Um, and it's 0 0.003. Um, I'm not sure what the units are. They might be arbitrary units or um, might be unitless. But alas, it doesn't really matter too much. You can see there's a bit of gain there. And obviously, this is when he wrote this article. Um, I believe it was in 2016. So obviously, the difference now will be even larger. Um, Dan Biggin does say there's some some things are wrong. He says standard chain with no wax. That's not correct. Dowsett did use wax. A lot of people think he didn't, but he definitely did. He literally says on his video. Um, so this game probably won't be there. But I still think waxing now and chain speed would have gone on a little bit. You know, so this is why I think he has a good chance of getting it because we're, we're going up here. So you can see from, from what he predicts, the aerodynamic power is 351 watts, which is obviously wrong. Um, but if we add up all of these, so it probably is more like the drivetrain efficiency was significantly less um, and the rolling resistance um, is, was probably what Dan Bigham predicted. So more or less, he's, he's about the same, but probably slightly off on the, the aerodynamic power that he had to do because he's probably more aero than Dan Bigham predicted because obviously the total power he had to do was 
358 watts. Um, so he's got a nice, nice graph here. Um, so he was saying if Alex Dowsett was to get superb atmospheric at, uh, conditions, output 409 watts, completely optimized his equip equipment position, he would be able to match what Wiggins did. So obviously Wiggins is still 500 meters off. But the reason I think that Dowsett can do it is because this is Dan Biggins' calculation on that the power that he did was 360, but Dan Big but he didn't. He did 358. So if he increases 40 watts, I think he's going to get it because I think like he's just so error and just seems to go so quickly. Um, so then when he goes through some more, uh, just about the pressure um, and all the, all the rest of it. So now he's saying that the total power 409 aerodynamic 374, but I think it'll be even less than that, maybe 20, 30 watts less. And then he goes on to altitude calculations. And this is where he says the optimal altitude is 2,750, which is where he was going to do it. Um, but the, obviously the issue was is that Dowsett had to hold back. But now we're going to go into just some pictures from Dowsett's wind tunnel testing. And you can see he's very, very aero here. Um, in terms of the helmet, he's got an HJC helmet, which is obviously what camping outs use. So he's maybe just testing that. There's also pictures of him with a POC helmet. He also doesn't have a helmet on, which I think was when they were doing 3D scanning of him. He's got Vortec overshoes, which are very, very quick, and also 3D custom. They're like 5,000 pounds or something stupid, but apparently very quick. So all these little things are like gains compared to what he had. So like we've got rolling resistance, probably position itself will be the biggest, um, and tires and skin suit will be faster. Like everything will be slightly faster, plus he has maybe another 30 to 40 watts to give. So when you put all that together, I think Alex Dowsett definitely has the possibility to do it. I'm not saying he's going to do it, but I'm I'm pretty confident he would, as long as the air pressure, the, the big unknown is the air pressure. If the air pressure is just too high, then it's not going to happen. But assuming the air pressure is similar to what he had and not crazy high like Wiggins had, um, because Wiggins, like, apparently could be a kilometre, he could have gone a kilometre further just because of the air pressure. So definitely... Yeah, pressure is one of the most important things. Um, so if Dallas has good air pressure and you can whack 390 to 400 watts, I think he's got a very good chance of doing it. Um, he seems to be very aero. He always does less watts than you expect and to go the same speed as other riders. Um, and his position, like if we compare this to this, it's, it's miles apart um, and miles better now. In terms of wheels, we didn't mention that. The Campagnolo Bora wheels. I assume we'll be using them again. They're widely seen as the fastest wheels. Team GB use them, Australia use them. Everyone, if you just watch like the track, the European Track World Champs that's coming on at the moment, European Track World Champs, that doesn't make sense. European Track Champs is on at the moment. Everyone who's fast, everyone who's money runs the campaign of Boris. So if you, I assume we'll be running them. And then frame again could be, there's not too much in frames. Apparently that's what Dan Bigham I remember saying. Not too much in frames, but, you know, he might have one slightly quicker. But I think everything added up eyeing it, Dallas is in a real good chance of beating Campanets as our record. Um, and the prediction for Campanets our record was only 330 watts, but obviously it was at altitude. So I think Dallas at doing 400, is he more aero than Wiggins? Maybe not, but Wiggins had horrendous atmospheric pressure. So if Dallas can get the good atmospheric pressure, whack 400 watts, I think he's got a good chance. What are your thoughts? Let me know below. Um, and cheers for watching and we'll see you in the next one.